If you saw the last part, you now know how to make a basic wall texture. But today we will focus on adding some grind and adding some graffiti. So let's create a new fill layer and let's call this grind1. I always number it so if we might create a second grind layer we have everything organized. Okay, in this grind layer we disable everything except the color, the metal and the roughness. So let's disable the normal and the height map. And let's bring the color very down to not completely black but sort of maybe like this, a bit a very dark gray. And what we also need to do is we need to make the metallic up to one. So let's just drag it up to one. So it's super metallic here. And the roughness should be a bit under 0 0.5. Let's maybe type in 0 0.4. Okay, that's good. But now everything is black and that's not what we want. So again, let's create a black mask. So on this icon here and select add a black mask. And what we want to do now is we want to add a metal edge wear generator to this layer, to this mask. So everything appears only on the edges. So let's make sure you have the mask selected and click on this add effect, add generator. Okay, right here you will now see generator. So click on this and search for the metal edge wear generator. So let's click this and you can see it doesn't work that well but on these edges here we can see metal edge appearing. So now you can play a bit with our settings here. So the first thing I like to do is edge smoothness. I drag this up a bit. Let's maybe do it like this. Now the ambient occlusion masking doesn't really make that much. Now we can lower the grunge amount or scale it up a bit. Make sure it always looks quite realistic, crunch scale, let's make it as big or as small as possible and now we can play a bit with the wear level and the wear contrast, let's higher the contrast and lower the level maybe, let's do it like this, okay but this doesn't look realistic. Maybe right here it looks sort of realistic, but we have a lot of work to do. So first, what I would do is I would go back to our normal layer here, where you have the metallic and the roughness, and I would like to enable height again, and let's bring it under zero. So a bit down like that this maybe so you can see now we have some damage real damage all over here this shouldn't be too much but I feel like this is very nice it's very acceptable and now I want to manually adjust where we have grind and where not so I mean no one is grinding this edge here but this wall would be something that is grinded quite often. This one as well. But I feel like right there on this edge, no one would grind right here. They might do like overpacks, but even then it would just start around here. So to have the possibility to manual adjust, let's click on the grind mask. And let's add another effect. So go here, add effect. And now we want to add paint. So click this. 
and right now you can see we have this white brush and when we paint we can paint over our mask so let's quickly do this back and what we want to do is I want a black paint so I want to erase things first so let's press X on the keyboard and once you press X you can see you switch between black and white always make sure to have the black color to erase something and have the white color to show something okay but I think this brush will also look quite unrealistic so go to your brushes and select your dirt one brush you can adjust the size a bit and just erase all the spots we don't want dirt to be okay fine this is looking good so far so what I want to do now is I again press X so now I can paint dirt wherever I want and now I want to paint edges everywhere where they should be oh I forgot to erase this okay so it doesn't look really good so far so I want to paint some more dirt on here so press X to have the white brush now we can scale the brush a bit down and let's paint over here Okay, so now I'm finished all this here and you can actually see a big difference. This is without the grind and this is with grind and it gives you a lot more realism. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add the graffiti because that's the idea behind it. So I think of adding a big graffiti on this wall here and maybe some smaller tags. Uh, I have a lot of graffitis already downloaded. You can see them here. Make sure they have no background. Uh, you can find a lot of them in the Skater XL Discord. Okay, so to create the graffiti, to draw graffiti on the wall, we create a new paint layer. So now we click on this brush and add layer. And we have a new layer here. Uh, let's call this graffiti. Like that. Okay, and let's start with making a graffiti to here. So. Uh, I think I'm gonna take this graffiti, it's from the Skater XL Discord. So go to here to the projection mode and now you can see this window and under your properties here scroll down and disable everything except the colors so metal, roughness, normal and height and now let's drag your graffiti onto the base color and you can see it directly appears. Now you can zoom in until it's covering all you want and now let's just scale our brush up a bit and paint over it make sure to not hover a lot just sometimes so um, there might be some places that aren't covered from the graf graffiti like you can see now it's drawn on the model and I think it's looking good let's take the eraser and select the dirt brush again and erase some spots here to make it a bit more realistic so 
so um what we want to do now is we have the graffiti here but the graffiti is on top of the grind and that's not so realistic so let's drag the layer under our grind layer now you can see this is looking better okay the next step we need to do is we have to add some dirt and some dust onto the wall because right here it's looking a bit it's not looking that realistic because in real life there is always a bit dirt so uh, go to the smart materials and in the description in my tutorial download pack you can find this smart material here the dust smart material uh, I will blend in a quick video how you can install or uh, how you can install these smart materials um, so here I have my folder open the texturing assets folder you can download in the description and here you can see this uh, material the dust dot spsm and so i have a second explorer opened here and i'm on my documents folder and find where you have algorithm algorithmic i think it's pronounced and here you have all your substance programs so click on the substance painter folder right here go to shelf and here you have all these different folders you need to go smart material and now just drag or right click copy and right click paste your material in here and now you have your smart material in substance painter okay so let's select the material and let's drag it on top here and you can see it's a bit brown the dust is brown and right here that's what the ambient occlusion makes it finds out where shadows are and places the dust here that's because i prepared a special mask editor here so the only thing you need to think of is this layer here the color layer and take pick the color and let's make it a bit more like a gray because this is looking much better so quick comparison without dust with dust um, but let's drag the dust layer also underneath the grind layer okay now i think the dust is a bit too much so let's select the group here and let's reduce the opacity a bit maybe to something around 70 if 70 is okay good and this is looking very nice i like it okay so once you have everything textured like this we only have one thing to do which is the exporting so to export go fire export textures click on this and you see this window pops out um, and first of all make sure you create a new folder where you want to export your textures so click here I already have a textures folder I just create right click new folder let's create a new folder and let's call this folder maybe textures 2 okay now double click this and select select folder okay now right here you have output template and first of all we only want to export our normal map and to export the normal map let's scroll down here and find unity hd render pipeline metallic standard this is the one you want to use so click it and now right here on the ledge you will see these different things if you want to export to skater xl or any unity project that uses the hd render pipeline you just go with this 
click export and you're good to go but for pipe you need to do something more so as we want to export this for pipe now uncheck everything except the normal map okay so what this does is the unity hd render pipeline combines the normal and the height map which means later on we don't need a height map anymore because all the height map data is also combined into the normal map so only select normal map make sure you have your folder where you want to export to and select export okay so this loads and once it's done go back to settings and now so change the unity hd render pipeline and click here and change scroll up make sure you have pbr metallic roughness select this now go back to your object settings you might have a different name here mine is called ledge so i have ledge right here and now let's uncheck the box for normal and uncheck the box for height so you just have the base color the roughness and the metallic map and once you have this make sure you also export to your textures folder and select export okay so once it's done you can close this window and that's basically everything you have to do if you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss any other helpful tutorial and if you have any other questions just comment down below and i see you in the next video